Hello, 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 everybody. It is Thursday evening. I am off of work tomorrow. Woohoo! It is March 17th. So I am in the middle of, um, what do you call it? I'm making apple butter. So I'm peeling, here we go, <laughs> peeling apples and coring them and slicing them. Um, I have the, I thought I had an apple. I do have an apple core. Just a moment. Um, is it in here? I have an apple core, you guys. So, so I'm coring apples. I have actually eight pounds of apples. Um, I have two, four, six, eight, ten pounds of apples. But the recipe only calls for six and a half. And eight pounds of the apples are, let me put this on. You eight pounds of the apples are apple crisp. And I got one pack of Fuji, red Fuji apples. So. Yeah, I forgot I had an apple core. This will make it so, <laughs> so much easier. And I usually use my apple core for um, when I'm making smoothies. It says to slice the apple. All right. So I just sliced it. And I'm putting it over here in the... Um, uh, slow cooker. Perfect. Ha -ha. I just made my life made my life a lot easier. I also have my dry ingredients ready, everything but the vanilla extract. I'm using my homemade vanilla extract. So the recipe calls for. Let's see. Let's see. I can put this up here. So the recipe calls for six and a half pounds of apples peeled, cored, and sliced. This is my first time making apple butter. Half a cup of granulated sugar. Half a cup of packed brown sugar. Um, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. So all the dry ingredients I poured in there, except for the salt, one fourth teaspoon of salt. I'll get that at the end. And one tablespoon vanilla extract. It says place the apples in the slow cooker. So as I'm peeling and coring the apples, hopefully you can hear me. I forgot to turn my notifications off when something pops up. Anyway, so as I'm peeling and coring the apples, um, I'm placing them in the slow cooker. Of course, they're going to be a little brown, but it doesn't matter because I'm cooking them. Um, it says you can use a blender, like a hand blender. And I saw Homestead Heart. I love watching her channel. I saw Homestead Heart make apple butter. She made a butterscotch apple butter and she made a chocolate chip. So since this is my first time making apple butter, um, I'm not doing all that fancy. I'm not using chocolate chip or butterscotch. Maybe later on, um, once I get used to making it, I will, but I'm not going to do that now. Give me a moment. Let me turn off my notifications. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. That kind of bugs when you have your notifications. So there's a little bit of brown parts. I really want to chomp these apples right now. Anyway, so there's a little bit of brown parts that I'm cutting out. I actually bought these apples last week and they are still pretty good. Not too bad. They're still pretty good. Oh, let's see if I can core it sitting down. So I'm wash I'm washing one bag of apples um, at a time. And that's it. So as you can see. Again, I use my apple core, and it says to slice them. The apple core cores it and slices it at the same time. Fabulous. 
So once I'm done, I'm going to come back and show myself um, making the apple butter. Um, it says to put add the sugar, the cinnamon, the salt, the vanilla into the crock pot. Mix well. Cook slow in cooker on low for about 10 hours, stirring every couple of hours. The apple butter should be thick and dark brown. Now, like I said, it says if desired, you can use a blender to puree the apple butter into smooth. But this is my first time making it. I do have a hand blender that I use for soap making. I do not have a hand blender for cooking. I do not cross-contaminate my soap making stuff with my food stuff. Um, I thought about going to... Um, Sorry, Bed Bath & Beyond and going to get a hand blender real quick. And I was like, no. I think I want my apple butter to be chunky. So, I'm going to come back to you when this is full and I'm adding all the ingredients. So, I'll probably see you in about 10-15 minutes once I'm done cleaning all of these bags of apples. And hopefully next year when I make this, I will have my own apples from my own yard. So, okay. Let's get to you guys. See you in a moment. Hello everyone, I'm back. That probably took me actually a half an hour. I'm um, sorry, I have my computer open back there. Okay, so I have cut up all the apples. I'm just gonna lower this just a little bit. This is six and a half pounds of apples. I've turned on the slow cooker. Okay, so a lot of apples. And I tried my best to get all the skin off. Now I know what Homestead Heart was talking about. And I think this is my biggest, because I have two slow cookers. One is a little bit smaller, but this is my biggest one. It's packed. But this is going to melt down and we're going to cook it for 10 hours. So 12 hours will be like almost 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, which is perfect. Um, I'll probably go a little bit over 10 hours because it's 8.56 now. I have to go get my allergy injection in the morning okay so six and a half pounds of apples peeled and cored and I use my lovely apple core which made it so much better than me trying to cut and core fabulous then I have my dry ingredients I have a half a cup of granulated sugar I'm reading here I have a half a cup of packed brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. Now I'm going to add um, one fourth teaspoon of salt. You don't want that much salt. Pour over the sink here. One fourth, come on. Okay, of salt. And I have my own homemade vanilla extracts. We're going to use one tablespoon of vanilla extracts. And I have about two other bottles over there. And I've actually refilled some of these. But it kind of still smells like alcohol. But hey, I'm going to mix it up. It's supposed to shake up the vanilla extracts. Periodically, at least once a week. Put that back in the cabinet. And I'm going to wait till I add the ingredients. So it says place the apples in a slow cooker, add the sugar, the cinnamon, the salt, and vanilla to the crock pot. Mix well in the slow cooker. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the vanilla extracts last. As this, I'm just going to mix this up. And I'm going to slowly, I'm going to like. Add it, then mix it. Add it and mix it. So that way it gets all the way through. And I'm pretty sure, because I get insomnia a lot, I am going to wake up in the middle of the night and kind of taste this and see what it be, what needs to be added to it. Oh, this smells, this smells so good. And I'm going to put this down just a little bit, just so you can see. Okay. But see, I'm mixing all of that up right now I've been wanting to make apple butter for a while and if I do well with this then I'm gonna try homestead heart recipe 
Um, usually I look in my, what do you call that book? My, um, my canning book to see what recipes they have. But I'm like, I, all I need is a recipe. And then tomorrow, to give me time to let it cool down and sanitize my jars. And then I can can it. And then I can go in the shed and do some stuff. So this will be, it says 10 hours. So we are, I am not going to blend mine. I am going to leave it chunky because it's going to break down anyway. Let me set this down. Make it easy on myself. And the good thing about this is that the apples are going to cook in their own juices. And I've been, since a lot of people are liking my jams or jellies, they've been like, when are you going to make apple butter? So I saw the apples on sale, and I went and got the apples, okay? I'll be gone on Saturday, so I will not be videotaping anything on Saturday. And Sunday, I do have a notary around 2 p.m., um, but I'll probably get out in that yard. I'm definitely going to get out there tomorrow before I go and um get my allergy injection and then i'll come back and can the apple butter probably will not take me that long to can and then um probably try to do some seedlings tomorrow so we'll see either i'll be in the yard tomorrow or i'll be in the shed i definitely have to go out there and water the garden but right now i've gotten most of the collard greens and stuff that i need for now so I'm basically just letting a lot of stuff bolt. A lot of the stuff out there has aphids on it. So, except for the onions and the garlic, um, I'm thinking the onions and the garlic may be ready by July, I'm hoping. The garlic will probably be ready um, before then. A little hot in here. Take my house shoes off and put them on the cold tile. That kind of helps me cool off. Maybe I'm having a personal summer, huh? Anyway, I'm gonna crunch this up a little bit more. Maybe I should have pulled out my sifter and sifted it. Okay, so I'm just gonna start. Pouring this in here. Because it doesn't say add water. Because remember, these apples and this and the sugar and spices are going to create their own juices. Okay. I'm going to mix that the best I can. And then I'm going to add some more. I probably could have cut these apples in half, but like I said, they're going to break down. This is my first time making this, so we're doing this together. So, I'm going to put that on there. And I'm probably going to add more, more spices to it. But I just want to get the spices all around in there. That's as low as it can go, you guys. Okay. Yeah, it's getting hot. Be careful how I touch this. I'm gonna mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, it looks like it's some down in there. Taking the apples on the bottom and trying to trying to bring them to the top. I'm thinking about getting to those vinegars. I still got my vinegars in the other room. So 
And they're just sitting there fermenting and not doing too much anymore. The lead farmer said you can leave them longer than 30 days. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I don't know if you can, you can see that. Cookers on low. So I'm just gonna go, just gonna pour it some more. Here, and then once I'm done, I will add my tablespoon of vanilla. Come over there. Just spread it out. Okay. okay. Now, shake, 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 shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. I always have to do that. Sorry. And this is how I know the vanilla is taking because it's always sticky. So this is one tablespoon of homemade vanilla extract. That's what it says. I don't think it's enough, but I'm just going to kind of pour it around in there. You can actually see a little bit of vanilla beans. It says one, but maybe. And that is it. I've actually already cleaned up the area behind me. I'm going to mix this some more, just a little bit, because I just added that vanilla extract. And that's it. And it's getting kind of hot. It's hard for me to touch the sides now. I'm going to take a knife and kind of scrape some of this. What I'm going to do I'm going to take the spoon and scrape all my, you don't let nothing go to waste. My spices out of there. Look at that. Okay. All right. Okay, so... We have officially made or making apple butter. Not officially made because it's not done. We'll see how it is um, later on. But yeah, and this is perfect. This was actually easier than making the pineapple and the strawberry because, you know, you gotta, I got to take out the food processor and I got to blend it and I got to cook it and I'm timing, you know, the, um, the jars at the same time. And it's just a hassle. But with this, just put it in the cooker. It fits perfectly on top. I am going to close it up. And bam. Ta-da! Okay, so I will try my best when I get up to stir this to bring my phone with me, because I'll probably be like this in night, at night. Mm -hmm. All right, tastes good. So I'll try to remember to bring my phone so you guys can see how it's cooking and tasting, and then I'll let you know, you know what, I need to add a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that. But for now, we got 10 hours to go. It's now 9.08. So I'm gonna end the video right here, and then I'll come back to you guys later. Have a good evening. Okay, everyone. It is 3.51 in the morning. And the apple butter is still cooking. We got about five, six more hours to go. But as you can see, the, the apples have really cooked down in their own juices. And I'm just kind of just chopping them up with the spoon. So, and it smells really good. It's cooking in their own juices. These honey crisp, I believe, are a, a sweet apple. 
a sweet kind of apple. And I'm going to let them continue to cook down. Okay. See you guys in a few hours. Okay. So it's been a lot of hours. I actually slept through the night. I forgot to come in here and mix it. But I'm mixing it right now. And I did add a tad bit more sugar to it. My mother went off to dialysis and I let her taste it. But as you can see, the apples cooked in their own juices. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. And I'm just smashing it up. And look how, how it condensed down. So um, I'm going to go ahead and let this cook further. As you can tell, I'm still kind of sleepy, but um, it's like 4.08 in the morning. So, I just wanted to continue to show you guys the process of the apple butter. I may add a little bit more cinnamon to make it darker later, but we'll see. All right, see you guys in a little while. Okay, everybody, so the apple butter is completely cooked down. I'm about to... Just got back home from running around. I'm going to sanitize the jars and get the water canner ready for canning. Hello everyone, the apple butter is done. The um, jars are sanitized and now we're gonna get to canning. So, we are supposed to fill the jars right here to one fourth an inch to the top which is about to right there and that's what we're going to do and get some paper towels here i mean the timer just went off on the dishwasher it's 108 in the afternoon you know i use this when i'm canning because the jars are hot and you know i do one jar at a time now we're going to get the lids the lids and the bands The way I do everything. For those of you that are new to canning, I have the slow cooker on low. I turned it on warm and I turned it off for a minute just for things to calm down. And now I have it, yeah back on low so here we go I'm actually going to pull this off and see how this is doing it's bubbling boiling Woohoo! bubbling boiling let me bring this closer move this out the way and we're going to see how many jars we are going to get out of this I may do it more than one fourth an inch from the top. Let's see. Just so I can try to at least get four of these. Oh, got a lot more room. Do -do -do. So excited, I made my own apple butter. Yep, that's it. Then you take this to try to get any air bubbles out of the jar. Okay, and then I'll just get a napkin right here just to wipe, wipe any excess off the lid to make sure our lids and bands will tighten on there. And you do it finger tight. That's what they always say, finger tight. Finger tight. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me try to move this back so you can see it. It's kind of hard with the big air fryer right here. I'm trying, maybe I could lift this up. Or, okay, maybe that's a little bit better. Nope. Okay, so, wow. Let me go ahead and get to this, you guys. You just saw me put some more water in there because to me the water was too low. When you're water bath canning, you want the water to cover your jars. So the water is still boiling. It may have cooled it down just a little bit, but the water is still boiling. So I just made sure I put enough in there so when I put the rack down, that water is covering the jars. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry, my mother was talking to me. So I got exactly five jars of apple butter. I'm so excited. Finishing up this one. Like this. You guys are here, my landscaper out there too. 
sorry. They're cutting the grass and trimming trees and stuff in the front of the house and in the backyard. Now, hopefully these will not fall over. Sometimes they fall over when I put them in. Yay. They are sitting on top of the water. Cover them up. We're going to leave them in a water canner for 10 minutes. And then after that, turn the fire off and then leave them in there for five minutes and then wait for that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful clicking sound. Okay, I'll be back when you guys, with you guys when it's done. <sighs> okay, everybody, we are done with the uh, apple butter. For you youngsters, when you have a steamy pot, always turn the pot top like this to turn the steam away from you. And I'll just put that in my sink, okay? So I got five jars, so excited. Now one thing I do that Cali Homesteading and Pooh Bear told me about is to put a little vinegar in your water Put a little vinegar in your water so that you don't get all that, um, I guess you call it white ash or whatever comes on your jars or whatever. And also, I do take um, my pot after I clean it and I put a little bit of oil on a paper towel and kind of wipe it because they tend to, to rust out. So when I take my jars out, I kind of dip them over like this. And like that, okay? So that is five, these are either a half pint, I think these are half pint. Oh, one just popped. Half pint jars of apple butter. So now that I feel comfortable making this, I'm gonna try Homestead Hearts recipe. I saw all type of butterscotch and stuff. I was like, Butterscotch apple butter. Oh my god. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be trying her recipe. And that is it. One, two, three, four, five. Five half pint jars of apple butter. And that is it for today. Um, I'll probably be going in the shed and outside a little bit later when it's a little bit cooler. It's actually supposed to rain tomorrow, but we'll be running around. Um, I got to get the shed together so that I can start doing my ceilings. But um, if I see where I have time, sorry, you guys. If I see where I have time, I will definitely go ahead and do some videotaping in there. If not, I'll just let you see the results of what I've done in there. I think I'm just going to take me a little nap because I'm a little bit tired. But as I always say, please find peace within yourself and please be peaceable with each other. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye. Mwah.